Morgan, talk about what made Utah State so appealing. Uh, I wanted to stay in state when I left Utah, and um, Utah was on the schedule, so that was a good plus. And then Chris Jones came from Utah, too. And I really like Coach Moore. I like the system. I felt like the system would fit me well, so that was a good move. What did you learn about yourself sitting out that, uh, that year? Um, I felt like I got to get back to the game like the way I used to love it, and I really got to just play, being on the scout team. I didn't really have to worry about playing time and pressure about the team, and I just got to come and play every day. It was really fun. What are your strengths as a player? Um, I don't know what my strengths are, but I know that I'll always go out on the court and like give it my all. Like, I always do the little things that anybody can do. I try to talk and on defense, take charges, just give it everything every second. What's it like to take a charge? Because you've taken several of them the last two years. Um, it's not that bad. I don't think it's very hard. It's not a hard thing to do if you're in the right position on defense and it helps your team. It's turnover. I think it's a really good thing you can do for your team. What's something that you need to work on? Um, probably everything. Um, I think I need to keep getting better at scoring in the post because I think we need that for our team and hopefully we can do that. What's it like to play in the Spectrum and what's the, the best thing about the Spectrum? Uh, I've played here as an opposing player and now as like a home player and I love it. Like The fans are awesome. It just gets you pumped up for every game. You, there's no, you never need any encouragement to go play in a game in the Spectrum. What's your favorite moment as an Aggie? Um, probably last year winning the WAC championship in Vegas. That was really fun. I got to play a lot, and it was just really fun to win that with my team and be there with all our fans. It was really fun. What's it like playing for Stu? Uh, it's great. I love it. I think he's a great coach, and he has the right amount of intensity. He knows how to talk to his players. I love it. What do you do in your spare time? Um, I love Logan because it's got like a lot of rivers. I go fishing a lot. I just got to fly fishing this summer. Me and Brady go fly fishing once in a while. So we do stuff outdoors, outdoors. If you could raise like a pile of cash, large sum of money, what would you do with it? I would never work again. And I would just travel. <laughs> I love traveling. Yeah. Where would you go? Um, I've never been like out of the country really, except for Mexico or Canada. So I really want to go over to Europe. I have a lot of friends playing over there. I'd go visit some people and tour Europe probably. What's the difference between high school basketball and college basketball in terms of talent and preparation and all that type of stuff? Well, the players are all definitely better. You're definitely playing against like the best player every time. and They're a lot more physical, a lot more. The speed's a lot faster. I think that's one of the bigger things. It's a lot faster and a lot more physical. And then who would you say is your biggest rival? Um, probably BYU. I like playing against BYU. But if I were to go somewhere in our conference, I'd probably say New Mexico. What about best dunker on the team? That's easy, Brady Jardine. Favorite chant that you hear in the spectrum? I love when they say, I believe that we will win at the first of the games. I think it just gets so pumped. And, and then, like, the winning team, losing team at the end, you know you won, so I love that too.